Hi guys, um, today I'm gonna do an update video on my baby and talk about my third trimester that I just started in and I'm gonna talk about the products I use and what I like and my my symptoms and what I've been going through so if you want to see that please keep watching okay so let's get started so I have notes on my phone and I'm gonna talk about that so that because I'm gonna forget everything so I'll do this get ready with me I'm just gonna do my everyday makeup because I don't know what we're doing today and I don't want to do extravagant makeup before you go to the gym or something so I am 28 weeks and sorry let me load up the app today I am 28 weeks and six days and this is how baby looks I am I have 78 days to go every Wednesday I start my new week I am finally in my third trimester and I want to talk about all of that today while I get ready so first I'm going to put some lotion. This is a Lubriderm, Lubriderm Daily Moisture Lotion. This is the one, this one kind of burns my face. Since baby, my face has been sensitive. Mm. But I use, I forgot what the other one is called. Oh, Jer Jergens, Jergens, I don't know, but that one doesn't burn my face. This one would burn my face because since I got pregnant, my skin has been really sensitive. Um, let me see. My notes say. Oh, so I am 28 weeks and 6 days. Every week when I start my new week of pregnancy, I watch the What to Expect videos on YouTube. And they help me a lot. Um, I'm going to show you guys the prenatals I take. These are the Nature Made Prenatals Multi Plus DHA. I think these work really good. I like them a lot. They're soft gels. They're not hard to take and stuff. They're really good. Um, there's 70. I get them at Walmart. I think now I'm in my third trimester, seven months. Um, I have. I haven't gotten any stretch marks, but this is the coconut oil that I've been using. I got it at Walmart. It's a glass one. I've been rubbing that in the morning when I shower and then before bed when I put on my pajamas. And that's it. I rub it on my belly. I rub it on my chest. I rub it on my hips. I rub it behind my hips. kind of like um, my hip area in the back. And then in this area right here right here because it gets really dry my skin gets really dry with the baby okay i'm gonna do my mascara the mascara i'm gonna use so the app i use is glow i was using clue before i got pregnant and then i got glow and then when i got pregnant i used glow nature and every day it tells you a little thing about the baby you write down your insights um it tells you I mean, it tells you some insights on like what your symptoms are and stuff, and you log what you've done throughout the day, and then your dashboard. Um, I mark down. I keep track of my water on here because I all I drink is water now because I would drink juice and stuff. But I kept getting UTIs with this pregnancy. I had like three in a row, and I didn't want to take so much antibiotics, so. I started I stopped drinking juice and everything and now I, all I drink is water. Um right now the baby is the size of an eggplant and it is two pounds and fourteen inches. The baby moves a lot. The baby moves mostly when I'm when I'm laying down on my back, the baby starts moving. Um, I feel like every time I'm alone, the baby moves a lot, and when I want people to feel the baby move, the baby doesn't want to move, and the baby falls asleep or something. Or like, if I get my camera out to record the baby, it won't move. Um, I don't know if you guys seen my first video that I posted about my pregnancy, but we're not going to know what the baby is until it's born. 
I want to continue making these videos even if I don't get a lot of views on them because I want to look back on these when when I see the baby when I have the baby I want to look back on these because this is my first pregnancy and I want to see how everything how life was like right now I can't imagine what my life is gonna be like with the baby and like a year from now I'm not even gonna know how I lived my life without my baby oh look at this baby here Damn. you know you get what I'm saying it's crazy so let me see what else is in my notes oh the symptoms I have I have leg pain like sciatic nerve pain I have dry skin again my dry skin stopped I had it all my first trimester and then all of my second trimester I didn't have any dry skin at all and then my third trimester the beginning of it I started getting dry skin again around my lips here and in my underarms um, I've been sleeping I know everybody says oh it's so hard to sleep during pregnancy I don't have any problem sleeping I sleep like 10 hours every day and if I could I'd probably sleep all day I don't feel like it's hard to go to sleep I love sleeping and even before that I love I love to sleep in but now with the baby I sleep more If I'm sitting on my bed or like right now I'm sitting like this, I have to lay um, flat on my back or I get back pain now. Like lower back pain or like in the middle of my back. It hurts. Oh, did I even tell you guys what mascara I'm using? I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Waterproof in black. I like waterproof because I feel like it keeps my lashes up. A lot of times I don't have any energy to make them. Um, to make to do my makeup i just go without makeup my skin is clear it's clear i feel like i don't have any like you know when they say you're having a girl you you break out everybody's telling me it's gonna be a boy i feel like it's gonna be a boy i've had two dreams that it's gonna be a boy and then a couple of people have said it's gonna be a girl but I even put a poll on Instagram and majority have said boy. And I heard boys um, make you glow. I lose, I've lost my balance two times already. Oh, just like stepping to the side and then I start stumbling. Because the fat belly. <laughs> I'm going to use this chapstick, the EOS. This is the one I've been using. I haven't had any problems with it. Just that I feel like my lips are fine. When I put it on, I feel like my lips get, like, chapped. <laughs> oh, oh, this third trimester, I've been waking up hungry. I feel like on my second trimester, I didn't want to eat anything. I crave junk food. I want to eat healthy food. I feel sick. Am I too low? And when I eat healthy food, I feel sick. I'm going to do my eyebrows now. I'm going to use this Anastasia number 18 brush that I always use. Um, my feet have been swollen. I think a little bit. Not a lot though. I've seen girls who have... I watch um, Kyra and... Pregnancy brain is another thing I have. I forget what I'm talking about. The Edwards family. You know Kyra Stewart and I forget her husband's name. Their baby, they just had a baby. His name is Carter. I'm going to use the Anastasia. I'll say his name if I remember it later. I'm so sorry. Anastasia Dip Brow in Dark Brown. Um, I also watched the brand fan. I'm so happy they have they're having twins, a boy and a girl. I watch them all the time. Mm. My feet feel hot. My feet get hot. I hate wearing shoes. I always got to wear chanclas. I always got to wear 
my sandals and when I do wear shoes once I get home I gotta take off my socks right away oh yeah my feet get hot so I take off my socks and I'm always walking around the house with no shoes and my mom's like put on some chanclas I tell her even chanclas make my feet hot my whole first trimester I was so sick I couldn't get up I laid down all the time I didn't want to eat anything I felt so sick and now I, I, I like to move around and stuff but I'm so hungry all the time now I have pelvic pressure really bad it just feels like like I sprained a muscle in my groin it hurts so bad but I asked the doctor he says it's normal I go to the gym I walk I do 30 minutes so I do a mile and I do like 100 calories that's all I do I would like to do more but I'm kind of scared and then I start feeling my pelvic pressure and it hurts so I don't push myself but I want to work out after the baby but I don't know if I'm gonna miss the baby you know like want to be with the baby all the time but I want to work out I haven't gained any weight. I'm 156. I think my beginning weight, I've been 150 or 165. I mean, or 156. Let me check my thing. 156. But yeah. I don't eat that good. I don't eat that bad, but I don't eat like extremely healthy. I can't eat any healthy food. When I eat a salad, the baby doesn't like it and I burp like all day. Um, that's all I had in my notes, so I'm just going to talk off the top of my head now about the baby. I don't know if you guys want to see a video with my boyfriend about the baby. Him talking about the baby and how he feels. Um, the, um, I used to use the the concealer from um, I think it was Tarte for my brows but then I ran out then I thought why am I going to spend $45 again so I just went to Walmart and I got the Maybelline Asia Wine I like it it's nice And I feel like you get a lot more in here. <clears throat> Sorry. So I'm gonna use this MAC brush, MAC MAC 212, you can't even see it no more, but it's like this. And then I just open this and then I let out the the little stuff and I just go like that and get it off on the brush. Oh yeah, but oh baby's kicking right now. I feel like I'm having a boy, but who knows? After I show a belly shot, whoever is watching this, comment what you think I'm having. At first I was so impatient and I wanted to know, but then my boyfriend convinced me to wait. To wait to know what the baby is going to be. My skin is sensitive, I can't use just any kind of lotion, it burns my skin. <clears throat> And I switched my soap. I was using the All One soap, but then I switched to Dove again because oh, my skin was getting dry, so I thought it was my soap. And I think that helps a lot too, the Dove soap, because it's moisturizing. I'm just blending this out. I'm trying to think what else to tell you guys. My parents are happy. His parents are happy. I'm going to have my baby shower August 11th, 2018. 
August 11th is my birthday. I'll be 19 years old. I don't know how I baby shower that day. We're gonna do Winnie the Pooh theme baby shower. I don't know if I'll take any videos that day, but I know I'm gonna take pictures. Oh, this is my beauty blender from Walmart, black one. I just have have it wet. I use it for a concealer. But yeah, I can't believe I'm in my third trimester. I want to have natural birth. I want to try with no epidural. I don't know how high my pain tolerance is. I don't think it's that high to be able to get through it without it. But I believe in myself, so I'm going to try. I want to breastfeed. This. I'm gonna use this Soka Seam Highliner L'Oreal in black and I'm gonna line my waterline. Yeah, but this is my pregnancy. I think it's been easy other than my first trimester that I was laying down so much. It's fun. I craved breakfast yesterday. I craved goodness all the fries. We got that. Right now I'm craving some takoyaki. Just fried and fried octopus balls. They're so good. You get them at the sushi place. Yeah, that's my makeup that I do every day. That's it. And then I'll have my hair in a bun because my hair is so long, but I hate it down. But I'm going to put it down just so I can make an intro. Ouch. This is my shirt. It says, holy. Let me see. You can see it like this. It says, holy guacamole, I'm pregnant. And then it has... A little avocado and a little baby avocado. Oh, let me show you my bump. This is my bump. 28 weeks and 6 days. I have shorts on. It's July. So it's hot. This is the other side. Look how long my hair is. It grew so much. I don't have any stretch marks. Thank God. I mean, I probably won't care if I get them. I have stretch marks anyways. My butt a lot. But yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And if you guys want more updates on the baby and everything, just let me know. Comment down below. Thank you and bye.